Hey, I'm Chantel with Rainbow River Medical. Welcome back. This is what, maybe our sixth one now? I know everybody's watching the little numbers on the little tickers changing, and yes, ours are going down. You might ask, what is the drastic change from 3,000, 4,000, 10,000 a day down to 1,000? Well, we were also doing 200 tests, now we're doing maybe 40 a day. That is why. The government came on and said, don't go get tested if you don't need it. Well, asymptomatic patients are the ones spreading it right now. Our numbers are not going down. There was a lot of hoopla that the numbers were construed in the beginning, inflated. No, that we had more people testing, that's why. If you have more people testing, the numbers are always gonna be higher. That's just how it is. Kids are back in school. Encourage safety. Teach your children proper hygiene, hand washing, face mask wearing, all that good stuff. And it's not just to keep them safe, it's to keep other people safe. You go shopping, you see signs on a door that say face mask required. You're gonna have groups of people that say, you're not gonna tell me what I can do and what I can't do. Okay, when you go to somebody's house and they ask you to remove their shoes at the front door because they have white carpet, are you gonna do that? Odds are yes, you will. Why? Because you're keeping their carpet safe from the dirt on your shoes. Face masks, same logic. It's not to keep you safe. It has nothing to do with you getting COVID. It has to do with maybe you are a carrier of COVID and you're gonna pass it to somebody else who it is going to kill, harm, cause a lifelong of residual effects. There is long-term effects with COVID. Is that fair for you to expose them to it? No. I don't care to hear COVID is a political game. COVID is real. Politics come and go. I don't even watch the news. I can't tell you who's running because right now we're fighting a real virus. One side might be saying it's being spread too easily. The other side saying we're doing too much to stop the spread. I really don't care. All I know is it is real. People are comparing it to the flu. No, it is not a flu. A flu you get, some succumb to it, some don't. Those effects for that flu are not gonna last you a lifetime. We're now they're finding out that the effects of COVID are. We have seen it cause strokes in people. We have seen it cause cardiac problems in people. We have seen it cause respiratory problems in people way after they get over the COVID. I had a debate today with somebody who was against wearing a mask saying we should expose everybody. So does that mean your mother, your father, your grandmother, your children, yourself are worth, worth the risk? Are you gonna play Russian roulette just to see if it explodes on you? No, you're not. The thing is, is that we have to take precautions. Many people wonder why we're still seeing patients outside. That's for your own safety, not just ours. If you are sitting in the lobby next to somebody who is asymptomatic and you have an underlying health condition, is that fair to you? No, it's not. Is it fair to us to be stuck in a building all day with it, take it home to our families? No. So this is for your own safety why we're doing this. The weather plays a big role in it lately. We get thunderstorms quite often lately, yes, we will shut down. My best suggestion to you is go on Facebook and look, see if there's a post about the weather. We will put it on there when we do have to shut down. I don't want my girls going out there and pretending to be Ben Franklin when the lightning's around. It's not fair to them. I encourage everybody to get tested, no matter what they're saying about the testing being needed, unneeded, anything like that. It's not gonna harm you. We don't go up your nose. It's not gonna cost you a penny, but it's gonna keep your loved ones, your family, your friends, 
and your friends of friends of friends of friends safe. If you come and get tested and you are positive, even though you feel good, stay home. Stay home. Come back, get retested until you get two negatives. We run a chance of a false negative. That's why we recommend two. Stop playing with people's lives, people. Just get tested. Stop listening to the news about politics. It's gonna do you a world of good. One, mentally, two, physically, because if you are positive, it's not to say that you're gonna get symptoms right away. It's not to say that you're not gonna get symptoms. You could test positive today, feel fine, and sick tomorrow. Do the right thing. Follow the precautions. Don't be a big guy and I'm not gonna wear my mask. Okay, well the big guy is protective. Will protect those he cares about. Wear your mask. Do it, people. We're watching a new article came out yesterday. Tri-County area. That includes Marion County. School children gone back to school. Out of the children tested, 11% positive. Don't just think that it's the flu. They'll get over it. Get them in, get them tested. We also test for the flu at the same time. Don't send them to school sick. Don't. And teach them the proper precautions. Hand washing. Don't touch your face. The masks. We got to teach them. It's up to you. I thank you for watching, supporting us through this. We couldn't have done it without you guys. We're here to help protect our community. Please do your part. Come on in, get tested. Don't spread it.